Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> now we're on. Are we good here, Sean? Where's the yes. shot? Are we rolling? Where's the girl? Yeah, I'm coming back. Where's the girl? Stay up from the ship, Tell them. Although it is a good question. Two minutes. I finally can find him. Okay. I'm going to go. Good evening, everybody. Okay. This evening, we will be speaking about the Suda Samashiach on Akbar and Shal Pesach. But we don't have the ears. It's pretty shy because Pesach will be coming up in Mitzvah very soon. <laughs> and uh, this is a very special time, the Suda Samashiach. We're going to kind of know some inyanim about what, what, what's, what's really going on over here. So, where did the Suda Samashiach originate? says that the Baal Shem Tov would have three meals, um, and the third meal was this the 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 Achron Shabbat. He would have this Suda Samashiach, Suda Samashiach. and it says that this third meal that he would have, there would be a a revelation of the light of Mashiach. Okay, we'll understand what that means. But during the Suda Samashiach, a greater or of Mashiach was was revealed. So we know there's an Indian of Mylin Makadesh, right? Constantly we all always have to be increasing in, in, in Kedusha. So when the Baal Shemta was was originated, these Sudas of Mashiach, we've been having these Bar Hashem ever ever since. So every single year, come in many, every single year, this Kedusha gets elevated more and more. The light is more and more revealed. So so what happens is there's an Indian that on on Shvi so Pesach that this this or of of uh, this this concept of the Indian of Mashiach is is in like thought and speech it's in Dibor and Machshava and then what happens is on Achra and Shal Pesach that's when it gets converted into Maisa because now we're eating a meal because this like this special energy of Mashiach comes in as Pesach is going out. You know, and then the, what happens is we bring it from Machshava and Dibor when we speak about uh, the Geula, when we, you know, it comes down to Dibor where we actually eat uh, a meal. And not only is it in the Kaychas and the Nefesh, not only is it in thought and speech and action, but it even becomes the Gashmi as part of your goof. So you literally make Mashiach a part of it. So, so it's the, there's an idea that the Baal Shem Tov is Bukhlau. Shak to Geula, because we know that what brings Mashiach, Hafatzas the Mayanites. You know the famous story of the Baal Shem Tov, you know who asked when Ad Matzai when is Mashiach coming, <laughs> and you know the answer was Lechshiyah uh, so that when you will spread your wellsprings forth. So the Baal Shem Tov is connected to Mashiach in general. So when the Baal Shem Tov is having a suda to Mashiach, shows you how powerful this this suda is. It's not something to take lightly. So, you know, the Baal Shem Tov is, you know, is not only Shaykh to Gula, but every single generation, his teaching is, is increasing more and more, even now to the lowest of the generation, Dora Shvi. So, so now, we're going to take this even a step further. Not only are we going to be making it a part of our goof, this makes sense, well, a person who understands in Yanei Shel Gula, right? Wow, I'm making Mashiach a part of my goof, the pseudo Mashiach. But what a person who doesn't understand, doesn't know, doesn't, you know just, just doesn't know about Gula. Doesn't know, like, in Yanei of Gula, doesn't know what the Mashiach Suda is. He just heard there's food at his Chabad house and, you know, free food, I'll come, you know. But he doesn't know. But the fact is that this Suda makes this, even a part of his body, a person that doesn't even feel it. So this makes it possible for his Bainus to bring a person to Poyo Mamish, even if he doesn't know about it. Just now that it's a part of his goof, it works from the outside in, rather than vice versa. So a person who doesn't even know in Yanni Shagula, he now makes it a part of his body, so it opens up his mind, so to speak. So now his mind is more re receptive to in Yanni Shagula Mashiach, and brings him to Pula doing what it takes to bring Mashiach. So that's how this is shy up to everyone. So there's a, um, a, a, a famous passage that says, Mashkiach uh, minach haloynes, metzitz minach harakim. This means that uh, Shem will, will check through the windows and he will peer or look through the cracks. The cracks uh, in, the, in, the, in the walls. 
So there's an interesting lotion in here, the Sikha that said that we already have cracks in Hakaisel. <laughs> I don't know if it's talking about, you know, Hakaisel and Eretz Yisrael, or just Bakla, we have cracks in our walls. You can interpret that however you want to. Um, but pretty much it's teaching us that we already have cracks in the wall. So that it's so close that this Pasuk is coming into being. We already have cracks in the walls. Shem is literally peering through, looking for the opportunity to bring Mashiach. So now this light is even more revealed so that we can feel it when we're in the Suda. So, and it says that even further, that this, this Suda of Mashiach, it consumes the, the, the walls of, of Gullus. That these, these, uh, these, uh, these cracks in the wall, the, the Suda of Mashiach consumes the walls of Gullus. So, <coughs> okay. So there's also an idea that there's a Haftarah that we read on Achon Shal Pesach. And it speaks about the fall of Sanchirim. The famous, you know, king was not, not very kind to the Yidin. So he fell on Rishon Shal Pesach. Sanchirim fell on Rishon Shal Pesach. So why are we reading this on Achon Shal Pesach? Doesn't seem to be a Shia. He fell on Rishon Shal Pesach. So the, the Rebbe answers that it's actually not even it's not even an idea of Chassidus. The, the Rebbe brings that this is not an idea that's so like, you know, we have to look into Chassidus. It's an enigma. That we read this Haftarah on Akron Shal Pesach because that Mashiach, Cheskiah, Ches, who was the prophet in, in the time of St. Karib, he requested from Mashiach that with this victory, bring and reveal Mashiach. And in fact, there's several different um, allusions to Mashiach in specifically this Haftarah. There's a very famous one that the wolf will lie with the sheep. That's in this Haftarah. And that wasn't something that was fulfilled at that time. Cheskia like asked for Hashem to reveal Mashiach and it said that the, the, the sheep will lie with the wolf or vice versa because this isn't fulfilled yet. It will be fulfilled in the time of Mashiach. So this Specific after the specific victory over San Karim has specific shaykhs to Gula. And so since we since we read it, that the light <laughs> of, of Mashiach is more revealed when we read this when we read this Aptira. And it says that even those that saying are that are saying Amen, they are bringing a big a greater Mashiach energy into the world. Because they are affirming Mashiach is coming. Even without even knowing it. A person can just be like, Amen. Not even know it. But we, that we know, Baruch Hashem, that we learn in Yadik Gula Mashiach, we know these things, we delve into them, we got to believe it, we got to know it, because that's what brings Mashiach. This Suda the Mashiach, if Chas Mashal Mashiach is not here by then, us saying Amen to this Haftarah, us eating this food and making it a part of our goof, and making it Machshava, Dibur, Maisa, Gashmias, this is what brings Mashiach. Because it, it, there's, it, the, if the Baal Shem Tov was doing it, there's, uh, this is obviously MS. There's a greater Mashiach energy in the world at the time of Suda from Mashiach. So, Yitzhak Shem, we should be able to to fully believe in, 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 in Mashiach, like Cheskiah did, really know the Mashiach is coming, take it for me, Ad Mamish, and we should be able to see it right now. Amen. 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 Amen.